Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about distance and displacement. Suppose I have two points, point A and point B. Point A is located in Delhi and point B is located in Hyderabad. And if I want to travel from Delhi to Hyderabad, I have so many options or I can say so many paths that I can choose from. For example, one path may go straight away which, is, which connects point A to point B like path number one. Even there are so many other paths like path number two, even I can take this path number three, path number four and five. So here I have shown only five paths that I can take but there are so many other paths that I can uh, take in order to reach Hyderabad from Delhi. Now on having a closer look at all these paths, we can say that the path length of all of them are different from each other. Every time I choose one path, I'll be traveling a different distance when I take another path. Now as I said, all these five paths are the possible paths that I can take and each path is associated with a separate or different path length. Now, what do you think is the shortest path that I can take in order to reach Hyderabad? Yes, obviously it will be the path number one which straight away connects point A to point B. So path one is the shortest distance between the points A and B. Now such paths which are, in, uh, which are shortest are termed as displacement. Now, this path 1 is called the displacement over here which straightly connects point A to point B and all other paths that we see here for example 2, 3, 4 and 5 only denote the distance. Now I think you are pretty clear about the difference between the distance and the displacement. Now suppose I take path number 5 in order to reach Hyderabad. I will travel a distance which is equal to the length of the path number 5 but the displacement that I have made on reaching Hyderabad is exactly the path length 1. So whichever path I choose, I'll be traveling a different distance but the displacement that I make will be equal to the shortest distance between points A and B. So now let's define these two terms. So distance is a numerical measurement of how far apart objects are and the shortest distance measured from the initial to the final position of an object is termed as displacement. Now displacement depends only upon the initial and final position of a body and it's irrespective of the path that we choose. So the formula for displacement becomes distance at the final point of the body minus distance as at the initial point of the body. Now for a better understanding, let me explain. Suppose I have a straight road which connects my house to your house and in between there is a school and a tennis court lying. Now if I want to go from my house to your house, I will straight away start from here let's say from my house. And this is a scale where I have shown the distances at every point. Suppose I start from here that is my house. When I reach the school, the distance that I will be covering is 25 kilometers if we see the scale here. Now the displacement that I, I may take when I reach this school will be the initial minus final which is 25 minus 0 that is 25 kilometers. Here we saw that the distance and the displacement are exactly equal. Now suppose I move from school to the tennis court like this. The distance that is the total distance that I have covered becomes 40 kilometers since I am in position C. Now in this case the displacement will be again initial I mean final minus initial which is 40 kilometer minus 0 kilometer and again it equals to 40 kilometer which is same as distance. Now let's uh, let me move from this point to the other point that is point number D. Now the total distance that I have covered on reaching point D that is your house is 60 kilometers in total and the displacement is again final minus initial which is 60 minus 0 that is 60 kilometers. Now suppose I want to return back to my home. 
so i take a u turn and i take the other way now suppose i reach this tennis court here now the distance that i have covered here that is the total distance becomes 60 i mean plus 20 that is 80 kilometers now here the displacement of the body is a bit different the displacement will be final minus initial which is 40 minus 0 that is 40 kilometers as i said while while talking about displacement we only consider the initial and the final position of the body which is irrespective of the path that it has taken so here the displacement the value of the displacement is 40 kilometers and the distance is 80 kilometers that i have traveled and both these things are different from each other and again when i reach school while returning my total distance covered will be 80 plus 15 that is 95 kilometers but the displacement that i made is again final minus initial which is 25 minus 0 that is 25 kilometers again when i reach back to my home the total distance that i have covered is 120 kilometers but the displacement here is zero because my initial position and the final position are exactly the same so displacement in this case is zero kilometers now we can figure out from all these things here that the value of distance doesn't depend upon the direction of the object that is moving but the displacement value is depending upon the direction of the object now as far as the direction of the object was uh, same which is up to reaching the point d there was no change in the in the values of distance and displacement but when the body changes its direction there is a difference between distance and displacement so from here we say that distance is a quantity which is independent of direction of a body that is traveling and such quantities we call as scalar quantities those quantities are concerned only with the magnitude and not the direction of the body but quantities like this which are also taking into account the direction of the body that is moving are called as vector quantities so distance is a scalar quantity and displacement is a vector quantity now suppose i have a circular path like this now suppose i travel the whole path what do you think will be the distance and the displacement in this case of course the distance will be the length of this whole path which is the circumference of the circle and whose formula is 2 pi r r being the radius of the path that i have covered and what do you think will be the displacement that i have made on reaching here since i have reached the point where i have started that is the initial point is equal to the final point here the displacement in this case will be zero even if i have covered some distance the displacement is still zero what's the reason behind it the reason is the initial point and the final point are exactly the same uh, if i move if i don't cover the whole path suppose i cover halfway then the case will be totally different now here if i cover halfway i'll be reaching somewhere here which is not i mean here the initial and the final point will not be the same and so the value of distance and displacement will change so this was all about distance and displacement and in my next couple of videos i'll be doing some problems related to this displacement and distance and i hope this video was helpful to you thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning